Uh, Kevin Inkster here from Arbitec, and uh, we're showing you here the new ball gouge, our latest product. Fantastic little product it is too. What it's like, here you have this 30 millimeter uh, sphere with a cutter set at about 30 degrees. It's a very unusual looking product. It's got a little face on the front. That's purely a coincidence from the balancing. But it's a very strange product because this cylinder, when it spins, creates a sphere. You have a cutting edge and you have a rubbing edge. And if you loosen the blade off and rotate it, the rubbing edge becomes the cutting edge. So it's basically self-sharpening. Fantastic tool, freehand uh, sculpting tool. We originally tried to bring out one, uh, uh, one tool every year and this one took a little bit longer than we expected. The original version uh, was the inverse of this actually, it was a hole, um, but uh, for various reasons to do with regulations and that we needed to turn it the other way so that there was no way you could put your finger in it. Um, and the end result is better than we expected. There's no cutting edge on the very end because the blade is offset, but as soon as you lean it over it'll uh, cut doing a beautiful dimple shape, but you can actually plane on the end of it and the blade will actually cut backwards or forwards or sideways. It's a beautiful three-dimensional cutter. So the packaging it looks like this and uh, alongside the cutter you can see this thing here. We call that the Ian key. Now the Ian key is very much like an Allen key, only nobody knows who Allen is. Ian is my brother and he invented this tool so we've called it the Ian key. And the interesting thing about this is that you've got these two straight edges here and when you're tightening the, the Ian key, when these two surfaces contact each other, that's the correct torque, exactly 18 Newton meters. So it's a torque wrench and it comes with the, uh, the tool. And I, what I like about it is that it's quite uh, uh, symbolic of the sort of innovation that we have at Arbitech. We're always looking for the best way to do these things.